many of the Scottish Isles have managed to export their products far out across the seas. The Outer Hebrides can boast their own global brand. That's what's brought me to Tarbert on Paris. This is what I'm after. Harris Tweed. Hello there. Hi there. May I look at your jackets? Yes, of course. Just got some over here. Look at those. They're very evocative, aren't they? Yeah, They're they the are. colours of Scotland with the, the grey rock, the heather. And then this one seems to have little traces of blue in it and awesome colours. It's got lots of colours in it, yeah. Would you like to try one? Yeah, why not? I'm going to try this one. This would be a sartorial leap for me to get rid of the old anorak and uh, present coast in a genuine hat. Oh, it's very comfortable. Is that for you? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, yes, now that really is an improvement, don't you think? Yeah. Coast <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> There's a reason why the colours of Harris Tweed mirror the landscape. Originally, the dyes were produced by local plants and lichens. Textile designer Alice Starmore right. is going to show me how it was done. Very good to meet you. And good to meet you Looks too. Looks if you've got things started already. Yes, indeed. I have lit the peat fire. I have the water, which yep. obviously you need for dyeing as well. I have the fleece, and the only thing that I need now is the crottle lichen, which is going to actually give me the colour. What are we looking out for? Well, we're looking out for a very unassuming and drab, <laughs> grey, crusty stuff, right. which actually is black crockle. And here is a very nice crop of it. Oh, is this rock. it here? This is it here. It looks like a spillage of very old porridge. It does, but the dye is, uh, comes out of it very easily. And it's a beautiful, rich, bronze, brown shades that you get from it. And you can see that it's actually ready to come right off yeah. the rock here. The Harris people would say that was ripe and ready. Some lichens are protected, but this one's safe to pick. Even so, we're just taking enough to dye one small fleece. Now for the exciting part. Time to get the pot. First, take one scoured fleece and moisten with peat-rich spring water. We're not just bunging it in, we're going to layer it a little bit, you know. It's important that the dye should be as even as possible. It's a bit like mm -hmm. making lasagna. It is a bit, yes. <laughs> and it is, the whole thing is a little bit like cooking. Pour in the water. Yes. And as it slowly comes to the boil, rather like a stew, all the products and the, will come out and dye the fleece. While we wait for the chemistry to cook, Alice has some samples to show me. All colours produced from local lichens Look and plants. That. It's like silverweed and ragweed. Here are the crotal colours, and here is yeah. the rich dark colour that you would get from cooking it overnight, as it were. OK, it's been cooking for some time now, Alice. It has. It's a it's, rich, it's deep It's beginning colour, to get orange. Look at there that. That's it just really in the early stages, so you can see what a slow and painstaking process it was. The rules governing the Harris Tweed trademark are strict. The cloth must be woven by the people of the Outer Hebrides in their own homes. Clattering machinery. Donald John Mackay has been busy with the fabric for over 40 years. Oh, my goodness. So, Donald, how is the loom powered? By my feet. Oh, I see. So, so handmade really means. This foot I will get. So, you, you cannot have an electric. No, 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 no. No, no. What's this roll going to be used for? This is going to Nike for shoes and bags. To, really? Yes. To Nike? Yes. The, the, the big yeah the big, big yes, yes 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 that's incredible isn't it yes. and and what about the threads themselves see each thread is made up of many many colours isn't that extraordinary when you look yep. closely it's a yeah. whole rainbow of colours comes yeah. alive exactly yeah. it really yes. comes alive well yeah. that's Harris Tweed for you the colours of the island inspire the blends and patterns of the cloth so I want to see what it looks like in the landscape now let's have a look Donald no. Wow. I can see the yellow of the wild grasses out there coming on the cloth and the, the heather. And you can see there the, the marron grass, which is the lighter one there. The roots, the grass, the darker one down there. 
there's blue in there to see the, the sea beyond. It's all there in front of us. It's as if you've unrolled the surface of the Outer Hebrides and carried That's it into it. your loom. 